Hi, this is Scott News demoing the HPQC12 feature on behalf of the Wiley Coyote team. Let's take a look. Here's Quality Center 12, which is also known as HPALM. Let's say you have your testers working in Quality Center and your developers working in Rally. And your tester creates a defect in Quality Center. You want that defect to get pushed to the developers in Rally automatically. You've already set up your HPQC to Rally connector config file so that defects created in HPQC will be copied to Rally. Normally you would also set up the connector to run automatically every few minutes, but I'll just run it manually. Let's open the log file so we can see what it's doing. And you can see it starts up, finds the new defect in Quality Center, and copies it to Rally as a new defect. If you go back to Quality Center, you can see that the defect has been updated with the Rally ID that was created. Now, if you look at Rally, you can see the new defect. And if you open it, you can see that all of its fields have been populated based on the QC defect. You can also push data into Quality Center from Rally, so let's give that a try. I'll just update the description on this defect, change its severity and priority, and save and close. And I'll run the connector again. And you can see it finds the defect was updated in Rally and updates Quality Center with the changes. Now, if you go back to Quality Center, refresh, and open the defect, you can see that it's been updated with the data we changed in Rally. Now, I've shown a bidirectional integration with defects but the connector supports many other configurations, including quality center requirements, test cases, and test runs. Thanks for listening.